see? I got blonde! Bonjour tout le monde and welcome to Pardon My French. Uh, today I have my special guest, Mel Ray Siegel. Bonjour. You can look her up on her YouTube channel. She's a professional makeup artist and she's also my friend and we're in Germany right now. Um, so we were talking the other day because she changes her hair all the time and I feel like I've had the same kind of like highlights on my hair for so long and I've been blonde before which was not a success uh, but I've kind of craved to get blonde again so I think we're gonna do this tonight. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna make you blonde, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're not really gonna bleach my hair. Uh, it's just because like this, there's this huge trend right now uh, with wigs because like the whole Kardashian clan. Can you say Kardashian? Kardashian. F Kardashian family. How do you say it? Clan. Like Kardashian clan, like that. Yeah, the clan. Oh, the clan. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Kardashian yeah. clan. The Kardashian clan uses wigs all the time. Kylie being the queen at it. Um, and recently you posted photos on your Instagram and she was blonde and I was like, oh my god, she changed her hair again. And then she was like, no, it's a wig. I was like, holy cow. Yeah. And it's like, it looks exactly like her hair, like she can pull on it. So I was like, can I try it? And I was like, it could be fun for people to like yeah. buy one and just like change their hair for like one night or for one event or like do a statement. Just to test so, out if you look good with a certain color before exactly. taking the plunge. Yeah. So, and there's some that you can find that are not too expensive. Yeah. So the one you have, how much did you pay for that this one? This one is human hair. So okay. this one was 250 US dollars. So that for some people would be considered expensive, but yeah. for a real human hair wig, yeah. the good ones are like at least a thousand dollars. Yeah. But you can find ones that are human hair blend. So those will be around 150 to, no, 100 to 200 dollars. Okay. And they are half human hair, half synthetic, or you can find synthetic wigs that are they can be like ten dollars oh wow okay. yeah um but the cool thing about this one is that you can wash it like she just washed it right now it smells so good um and then you can style it and and then reuse it many times and you can dye it too oh yeah wow. it's like human hair you can yeah. li literally do whatever you do to your hair to the wig the only thing is that for it to look really natural yeah and for it to be able to be tugged on yeah. it has to be a lace front okay so it, always look out for that you can get synthetic wigs that are lace front and human hair wigs that are lace front this one is full lace everywhere yeah. but most of them it's just this part that okay. is lace and that's the part that you glue down okay okay so how do we do this so to start things off we want to put our hair in a wig cap yeah so you have a lot of hair yeah like i have i'm very have very thin hair so it's easy for me so you don't want to put your hair in a ponytail no because that will create a lump yeah so what you nine 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 Nine? No, no. So oh, no, no. We're cut your hair down the back. Okay. And yeah. then you fold your hair this way. Can you see? As if you were going the opposite direction. Oh yeah. And around. Okay. And then you. I don't have any clips today, okay. but we would clip it. Yeah. And, and then, then same. I'll same hold it. Thing. Yeah. To the other side. So that's flat at the back, and then yeah. you just want to wheel around, and we'll show them what okay. it looks like the back. So you can see we just crossed the two parts over each other. Okay, and then give me the cap. And then we're gonna put a wig cap on. So these are like two bucks. You can get these at Sully's Beauty. You can get these anywhere. So if you're by yourself, then yeah. use hair clips. Yeah. If you have a friend like this, then it's easier. So you're gonna wanna leave your ears out. Yeah. Okay, and then put all the baby hair inside. Yeah, put all your baby hair inside. Okay. And then look at me, let's see. It looks pretty good. So if you can see, we left out not even a millimeter of her hairline. You can just see the slightest bit of growth at her forehead. So put your wig cap as close to your hairline as possible. Okay. I like this look. I think I'm just going to roll like that. Yeah, I think <laughs> Brandy's going to love it. Okay. So the next step is you get the got to be glued in the black tube. Okay. So this is available in North America. It's available in Europe. Yeah. There is a yellow tube. Don't get the yellow tube because that one's white. So that will leave a white cast on okay. your face. Get the black one because this dries clear. It's clear to begin with and it's waterproof. Okay. I believe. Don't quote me on that. But okay. We'll see. So what you're going to do is take a dollop. Can we see what that is? They just do yeah. you know, a dollop. a dollop. You can guess what a dollop is. And it's a dollop. A dollop? It's a dollop. 
Okay, can't I can't do that. <laughs> and just apply it on the edge of the wig cap and on the edge of your hair. Because your lace is going to go on top of this. And then when you wash the wig, it goes off or you have to yeah. kind of rub it? So you can wash your wig completely, like the whole hair, and it'll come off right away with shampoo. Mm -hmm. Or what I do is you can just wash the lace that applies yeah. to the glue. Then you don't have to keep washing your hair over and over yeah. again. And to remove, you just take some hot water and a towel and just scrub it at your hairline and it'll come right off. Don't rip it off or you will wax your hairline. Oh god. But if it's you use Yeah. <laughs> but if okay. you use wig glue, um like glue that's actually made for your wig, yeah. that will pull your hair out and ruin your edges. But um using so this hair gel. Safe, this is a safer way. Exactly. I uh taped my tits once. Uh last year. Actually Brendan yeah. taped my tits with like with tape? gaffer tape. <laughs> Uh, for an award because I was wearing this beautiful untitled it's a Quebec designer yeah. like kimono and it was like all open and my tits are not allowing me to not wear a bra yeah and when I ended this the night I was just so tired I grabbed it and I went like <sighs> and I literally almost ripped my nipples and oh like the God. whole skin on my chest and on my neck because we did like the whole Kardashian thing yeah and Brendan was like very picky. Like he was like, okay, we need to redo this one. Like it's higher. He's gonna make you look good. He, it, it looked so good, but oh my god, the pain! I, I should have just like scrubbed it down with like yeah. oil or like coconut oil. Yeah, you can use coconut oil yeah. too for this. Oh my god. Yeah, that's not. That's so not I would have ripped the wig right oh, off. Oh, I have done that before. <laughs> okay, so now yeah. you're going to. I gotta put some at the top. For okay. Us. So okay. now you're going to let this dry okay. for a bit. You want it How just long? like when you're applying um, lash, eyelashes. Fake lashes, yeah. yeah. You want it to dry halfway so that it so gets tacky like sticky. and sticky. Okay. So one way to speed up that process is to take a hair dryer and oil your hand and mm -hmm. put it on the cool setting, not the hot, yeah. and just lightly blow dry your hair and it will get tacky. So, yeah. Okay. You start from the back. Oh yeah? Okay. And then you just pull it forward. And before you pull it all over top of the cap yes, yeah. and the hair the gel, blue. hold it back a bit so that you can do it gently because you don't want to have any hairs underneath the cap or else it's gonna be all chunky. You can see I'm pulling out hairs that are stuck underneath. So just make sure everything's free and then just take your time and pull it down and then push it on top of where you put the hair gel and match it to your own edges. So the lace front makes it look like it's actually your scalp, whereas if you don't have a lace front, you're gonna see the fake hairs sewn into it. Mm -hmm. So just push it down, put pretty firm pressure on it and it's not going to be perfect but you can style it to make it look perfect and you can move the part too right yeah you can do with this one because it's a full lace wig you can do yeah. anything you want with it you oh can put it God. in a ponytail you can put it in half up half down you can do anything you want with it because it's going to look like your part at any direction Okay, it's just me freaking out right now. So okay. you're just gonna wanna hold it down. Yeah. And push down, let it dry. It'll take probably like 20 minutes yeah. for it to get nice and hard so that you can actually like yeah. then like yank on it and it won't come off. And then how do we get this to let's just let it sit there? Yeah. So now we're just gonna style it. Because you can't leave it looking frizzy like the way it is. No. So you can flat it was air dried, it. right? It was air dried. So you can flat iron it, you can curl it, you can do whatever you would do to your normal hair to the wig. If it's synthetic though, if it's 100% synthetic, a lot of the times you cannot curl it, but there are some heat friendly synthetic wigs and those are also pretty affordable. So don't think that if you get a synthetic that's heat friendly that it's going to be more money. I feel like for a gala or like a 
and then like a like an event it'd be fun to do that yeah like for girls like for prom or Absolutely. if you want to do something cool or if you're like me where you have damaged hair and you don't want to yeah break your hair you can use wigs that's true and you just like what brush it yeah. like you See, guys it I'm already it already looks a lot better looks so good and then See, this side's coming up a bit, but yeah. that's because we're kind of but in then, a rush to yeah. get film the video, but... But then I would like probably tuck it under my ear. That's how I wear it. Yeah. I tuck it under my ear so yeah. that it looks like it's growing out of my head. Yeah. And so one you thing see, you like, can it do is... really natural. Yeah. One thing you can do as well is apply roots to your blonde wig. If it's blonde, if it's brown, obviously skip this part. But if you use an ash eyeshadow... Ooh! What was that? Shoot. That's okay. It's cheap. Okay. There you go. And an eyeshadow brush. You can go on the top and just apply some roots to add some... Oh, yeah. ...depth. I'll apply some of the friends so you can see. That's cool. I've mean, that never it, thought of doing yeah, that. Yeah. It makes it look so much more natural. For sure. And it kind of hides the, the part too. Yeah. One thing you can do as well is apply a little bit of concealer into your part to make it look brighter, but I don't really do that. I find that it doesn't look that natural. If you're Caucasian, at least, yeah. if you're of color, it might look more natural, but. So I'm just gonna do a little bit so you can yeah. see the difference. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, like when you stand like this, it looks so nice. Yeah. And you can oh even God. add like okay, little low light things by like bringing it down like that. Make it like yeah, a yeah, ombre. Okay, yeah. let me just finish this side. Okay. So. I feel like it's almost easier on this than on my own head. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about burning it. Yeah, that's true. I burn myself. There's a video of me curling my hair. And I burned myself like seven times. On YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, let's watch it. Yeah, it's like the beach wave. Ooh, one thing before I forget that you can do also. So when you want to move your part around, you can move your part wherever you want. Yeah. You blow dry it and then take your curling wand, not a curling iron, but one that does not have a clip. And you can yeah. just go like this. Oh. And it flattens it all down and makes the hair move that way, and then it gets rid of any like crazy flyaways and stuff. See? I got blonde! There you go, put your face on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for the wig video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you. Um, Daenerys Targaryen. And then what? Daenerys Targaryen. Da just Amelia Georgia. Clark. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm kind of like Amelia Clark. Got Game of Thrones. Doppelganger. 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 Go, go, With a D. Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Gotcha. What's the g gang? Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Okay, fine. <laughs> um, yeah, this one doesn't look good, but I'll just do this. Well, I'll just stack it. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, go subscribe on her channel because she's amazing. I love her. I love you guys. Comment. Did I say that or no? no? We drank a whole bottle. Of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you soon. Bye, people. Bye. 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 -bye.